Jeff, you felt that this Tokitex defense uh, really limited the veterans of, uh, of San Miguel. How did they do that? You know, the vets, this is a very experienced team and they've seen everything, you know, sobrang buo nila. But yeah, the defense, you have to credit Tokitex on the defense that they gave. Kasi yung, yung nangyayari ngayon sa sila, Alex Cabagnot, si Arvin Santos, si, si you know, the likes of Ternus Romeo, I mean, they're not scoring a lot. And then in all their past championship runs, Chris Ross, you know, with the absence of Marshall Lasseter, parang bumaba yung production nila. How many field goal, field goal attempts did they have? They had like, siguro less than 10, I think. Uh, si Ross had 7 attempts. Si Santos, 7 attempts. Si Alex Sabag, not 5 attempts lang. How do you see, see that? Na ito yung mga player mo na pambato. So, but, uh, credit again to Talk and Text and the game plan that they did. But they just shut the veterans down and it didn't help them. Yeah, oh, ako yung hunger issue dyan eh. Kasi since you know, they won the last championship, kung is, it's still evident pa. And of course, siyempre, adjustment nila sa import na mm-hmm. you, we, we can say na he, he's not at par with uh, si Makolo with, uh, with Jones. With Jones. Oh. So it's a big adjustment. And uh, marami rin flow dun sa depensa na San Miguel. For you to keep up with... Uh, talk and text, you really have to make a good adjustment on defense. Siyempre, Coach Leo will still find a way to stop Terrence. Okay, uh, we have to ask about the impact of Marshall Lasseter's injury. So, yung Marshall, uh, the fact that he's not there, ano epekto nun sa San Miguel? Well, the first thing you'll think about is this three-point shooting. He's the, one of the best shooters in the league. But, you know, more than that, I think, siyempre, malaking absence siya. Eh. You know, a veteran, ganyan. Pero, Right now, I think it's, for me, safe to say that even with him there, I still believe that the way TNT is playing and you know, the whole squad, I think it wouldn't have that much impact. So I think it's more than just Marshall Asset are missing. They have to parang, get there ano, together. Na, I think siguro may konting, siguro yung hunger aside from yeah. that, maybe may konting cockiness na rin na, you know, they've been there before uh, and then siguro umaasa sila na, in any given time, yeah, they can just like what they did switch. in the past year. They can turn it on. Uh, turn it on, uh, tapos, we'll just get back no, in the no, game. No, but why shouldn't they? I mean, if I'm San Miguel, fine, I lose game one. Terrence Jones is amazing, but it's only game one. With all my, if I'm San Miguel, with all my championship experience, I can just say, well, it's only one game. You don't yeah. win the championship in game one. So, isn't this team so experienced and so talented na, you know, relax. Yeah. They don't oh. have to, like, worry. Bawi silang game to onwards. Yeah, y- y- yung natural yun eh, na magkakaroon ka ng ganong klaseng demeanor if you're winning a lot of championships. Meron yung ganong feeling. Pero siyempre, titignan mo rin na lahat ng teams year in, year out, they're planning on how to stop you. So kung, kung ganun ang ano nila, I think best bet is TNT. Pagka they do, they do something about that to stop this import in TNT, may harapan sila. Pero in a, I mean, in a seven-game series, siguro, it's a long series. There are going to be numerous adjustments. I, I believe that San Miguel with their experience and their poise and siguro that confidence in themselves that they can just catch up or it's going to be a long series for Talk and Text. They're going to have to rethink what they did, get better back because San Miguel is a dangerous team. Thank <laughs> you.